Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss how to create an EC2 instance. Now, the first step is I am going to search EC2. Here, we are going to create virtual servers in the cloud. In the next step, what I am going to do is, here we are having an option launch instance. Here we are going to launch an instance. Here it is going to ask name and tags. Here what kind of server you are going to create, you are going to type the name of the server. Here I am going to create Ubuntu server, Ubuntu server. The next one which I am going to do is I am going to create application and OS images. Here I need to create the type of operating system which I would like to select. Here you can able to see more things which is having multiple operating system and you can able to browse a more AMIs. AMI stands for Amazon Machine Image. Here you can able to browse a certain images which should be only free type. Here if you are going to scroll down here it has to show retire eligible otherwise it will be charged for you. Now what I am going to select is I would like to select Ubuntu so that which is retire eligible and now it is a 64 bit so now I am going to select a Ubuntu server. Now I have selected a Ubuntu server now it is going to show it is a retire eligible. Next here at the right side here how many number of instances you would like to create. If you want to create 20 it will be creating 20 number of instances and 20 number of services will be provided. And now I am at present I am going to type 1. And the instance type it is going to ask. So now here we have to select an instance which should be retire eligible. Here we are having T2 nano, T2 small, T2 medium, T2 large, T2 extra large and so on. And here the configuration of CPU is shown here. Here T2 micro is selected by default. We are also selecting the same thing and it provides 1 GB memory of RAM and it is going to be chargeable. Amazon is going to provide 750 hours per free launch of servers. After that each and every second it is chargeable. So now I have selected T2 micro which is free tier eligible. So make sure whether it is a free tier eligible or not. So otherwise uh, you cannot be able to select other other ones which is chargeable. Next key pair login. If you want to login you need to create a new key pair. Key pair means you will be having a key then only you will be accessing. For example, a person who want to open a home door, he should have a key. It means it provides an authentication. Here I am going to create a new key pair. So that I am going to enter Ubuntu as a key pair. Ubuntu as a key pair and the type of security it is showing. RSA, reverse shamir and ultimate algorithm it is going to show and other kind of thing also show. So if you are going to select the second one, it is going to show not supported for Windows instances. So because you should not use that one, so you can able to use RSA one. So next one, here we are having a PEM file. So here if you are using a Windows, then you can able to use a PEM file. And if you are going to use some other versions of Linux only, PPK file is used. So here PEM stands for Privacy Enhanced Mail so that it is going to generate a PEM file. If you are using a PPK, PPK stands for Putty Private Key. It is used for only Linux versions. I am going to select a PEM file and what I am going to do is I am going to create a key pair. So once a key pair is uh, created it will be downloaded. So now here I am going to locate the folder 
copy that uh, folder and uh, copy that particular file in the folder what I am going to do is I have created AWS folder and we want to this so once key is lost so you cannot able to get back for that purpose you can able to store a key in a safe place so that you can able to use it further next one a key pair is generated next one it is showing VPC VPC stands for virtual private connection so you want to create a security group you can able to create otherwise you can able to use a select existing security group so here it is having a default security group if you want to select default security group you can able to say select existing otherwise you can able to create a new security group and here SSH is a protocol and SSH is a secure shell which allows a traffic anywhere otherwise you can able to use my IP address it is showing my IP is 49.37.129.224 here if you are going to access from anywhere anywhere you can access otherwise from my IP, my IP means you, you have to use by your IP only now I am going to click access anywhere so now here it is allow the HTTP traffic from internet allow HTTP traffic from internet from the setup so what it is showing is allow all the IP address access your instances we recommending the security group to allow access from clone IP address only it means for security purpose it asks you to select your IP which is a frequently used by you next configuration storage you can able to increase the storage of your RAM so like uh, 100 GB but it is chargeable so now it has to be default 8 so next here we are having GP2, GP3 and so on, IO1, IO2 and so on. We are selecting a GP2 which is having a general purpose SSD. SSD stands for solid state drive. If you want to add additional value like a C drive, D drive or something which you want to use like your personal computer, it will be chargeable. So now here you can able to see if you want any some advanced details. So here if you want to see advanced details or instance auto recovery you can able to select uh, if you want auto recovery you can able to select some other region the make sure whether which particular region it belongs to here we are having a AP uh, Asia specific AP South one next one here we are having a termination protection termination protection means uh, if you are going to enable the termination protection you cannot able to delete the instance so you need to forcefully so stop protection if you want anyone is stopping your instance then stop protection if you want to enable you can and otherwise it will be default so next uh, EBS uh, if you want to uh, uh, select the reservation so how much uh, how many groups in your company RAM, hard disk and all the things you can select. Now what I am going to do is I am going to ignore those things. I am going to create a security group which is going to create a traffic anywhere which which I am going to use a 0.0.0, .0 and I am going to click launch instance. So once I am going to click a launch instance it is going to apply all the things and now we can able to check view all instances so now it is going to show the state it is going to show the instance ID and instance state is pending first one is it is goes to the initialization state and after that it goes to the pending state and again it goes to the running state and again it goes to the stop state so next here it is going to have a status check it is something like health checks and you can able to create the health so now you have created a Ubuntu server successfully but how to access this particular Ubuntu server so now click on this one you will be having a description and you can able to access this one by using your public 
IPv4. So in order to access this one, you should have a putty and uh, by using a putty, you can able to access. So now you can able to go to Google and uh, you can able to download putty uh, and putty gen. So if you are going to click putty, so icon will be like this, you can download putty and again you need a putty gen. Putty gen is used to convert a PPK uh, uh, into PPK file. So actually we have downloaded a PEM file. So PEM file is a privacy enhanced mail and uh, putty is a putty private key. You, you need to convert a privacy enhanced mail into putty private key so that you can able to uh, decrypt that particular key. Now already I have downloaded uh, both of the things. So now what I am going to do is I am going to go for EC2 dashboard and here if you are going to see the instances here still it is initializing instead. So again already I have told it has to initialize pending and again it will be going running again stop and again terminate if it is terminated by the user. <coughs> Now here you are having a spot request. Spot requests are something like you can able to create an instances on demand. So we are having other options. It means uh, you can you stop on termination protection while we are creating. At that time, what it is going to show you show you is so if somebody is terminating your instances, at that time you need a message alert so that you will be getting a message alert in order to uh, terminate the EC2 instances. Now the next step I am going to open the putty generator. Here I am having a putty generator. I need to generate a PPK file. So what I am going to click is load. Where the particular key is I am going to load. Browse it. All keys. All files. Ubuntu 1. Open it. Click OK and now save as private key. So save it as private key. Ubuntu 1. So here you can able to see putty private key file extension is .ppk. We are going to convert a PEM file into ppk file. So now we have saved successfully the key. Now what I am going to do is I am going to open putty. Now I have opened a putty app. Now you need to have a IP address to which particular PC you are connecting. So in description you are having public IP and uh, private IP. So now there are certain rules and conditions which you want to go. So here if you are going to see here you are having a inbound rules and outbound rules. Out, outbounds are allow, inbound rules are denied by default and uh, here you need to allow all and uh, it is uh, taking some time uh, let us uh, take once uh, the machine is running instances it is uh, still uh, showing zero now health checks are passed now you can able to select an instance here you are having a tabs if you go to security here you are having a certain kind of rules so what are the rules inbound and outbound. If you want to add some rule, you can able to add a rule. Already we have added rule. All the ports are open and uh, it is for public. So 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 which is means public. So details, copy the public IP. So what is the public IP address of this machine? 3.109.182.106. So I am going to copy. Now I am going to paste it in putty which I would like to connect. Now I am going for SSH and authentication tab. I am going to browse the file. So what is the file name? You want to one. Open it and click on 
open and if you want to change a windows font size so click on window click on appearance and uh, if you want to change color or a font you can able to change so font i am changing so courier new and if there is any times new roman or uh, something we can change so i am going to increase the font size 18 and all the things it is showing and if you want to open okay so click on accept i am going to click open so here i am going to open the tab okay and i am going to log in the username ubuntu so now it is going to authenticate the key now here we have got the prompt now what i am going to do is i am going to type here clear the screen ls list out what are the files and directories are available ls hyphen a so which includes all the hidden files also I want to uh, install some uh, man about a man command ls so it is going to show the manual page so uh, description about uh, the command ls so if you want to quit the command and you are going to quit by pressing q and if you want to press man, man stands for manual and if you are going to press cat command so now it is going to show the description all about cat command so otherwise you can able to quit by pressing the q and similarly what i am going to do is i am going to create a file by using a cat command so cat uh, the file name is a here i am going to type 1 2 3 4 5 6 control d and control c control d stands for save the program and control c is terminating the program cat space a now it is going to show the text 1 2 3 4 5 6 in a similar manner so what i am going to do is i am going to create one more instance so here i will create a one more instance by using a windows here let us uh, create a instance launch instance now what we are going to do is i am going to create a instance called windows now what i am going to do is here i would like to select the retired so browse more ami among the ami please select the image which is windows so here scroll it down, scroll down here it is showing microsoft server 2002 core based which is a free tier eligible so make sure it is a free tier or not so next select the free tier and uh, you have successfully selected free tier and which particular instance type you are going to select always select e2 micro make sure it is a free tier eligible so now i have selected e2 micro now key pair login so in order to login the key pair you can able to create a new pair or you can able to use a existing key pair so now here what i am going to use is i am going to create a new key pair and our key pair name is windows now pem file i am going to create create a key pair so now key pair is downloaded so show the folder cut the folder and paste to aws folder ubuntu keys so store in a safe place so now i have stored the pem file the next one if you want to create a security book group you can able to create or so rdp traffic http traffic and allow http traffic from the internet so that we can able to create so now here it is showing a root volume by default 30 gb in gb2 so now if you want to configure you can uh, configure otherwise you can leave how many number of instances if you want to create <coughs> You can create that many instances just i am going to enter sample by two so two windows instances will be created at a time let us see what it is going to create now it has uh, launched successfully let us go to ec2 dashboard here click on instances running 
now refresh now you can able to see windows 1 windows 2 so two number of instances you have created so uh, you have seen the window how many number of instance created so now what i am going to do is i am going to stop the instance i don't want two instance i can use only one instance so next instance terminate instance so yes i would like to terminate the instance so now you got, you again refresh only two number of servers are shown here next step what i am going to do is i would like to connect the window by using a protocol rdp so now here it is uh, having a initialization state it has to pass all the status checks so status check is like health checks it is going to have a health checks so basically if you want to install ubuntu or windows it will be taking nearly half an hour of time uh, based upon your ram and uh, based upon your system configuration it will be taking so now it will take a few seconds of time before that we will you, you uh, see so which kind of protocol you are going to connect so now go to security rule, rules and inbound rules so right uh, here you can able to click inbound rules so here it is using protocol by using a protocol you can able to connect so now it is also initializing here in security i am going to get the windows password so to get the windows password i need to upload the private key file so which is a pem file upload private key i am going to select d drive here i have created a folder aws ubuntu keys windows dot pem file so now this is the decrypt password so copy the password so now what i am going to do is i am going to open ec2 so now instances running and uh, select the windows now you need a public ipv4 address 65.2.10.48 i am going to open rdp remote desktop connection what is the ip address i would like to type 65.2.10.48 connect it so the default username is administrator So administrator is default username for Windows, password is I have typed. Click on connect, click on yes. Now you are connected to remote desktop which is located in Mumbai. So you have connected your server, Windows server. So now it is going to load all the configurations. So here it is going to uh, type the option and all the things in this manner your server will be there. So here you can able to type the computer name or update uh, computer name all the things you can able to see. So if you want to install updates, log off user, restart, shutdown. So in this manner server will be look like. So now I am going to select to so what is your computer name all the things you need to enter so now i have shown how to connect rdp remote desktop connection protocol and how to connect to the windows so now i am going to close the connection now what i am going to do is i am going to terminate all the instances because it is chargeable i am clicking instances now i am going to select this one I am going to instance state, stop instance, stop the windows server, 
and again select this one you want to server and again select the instance state stop the instance so one thing if you are going to notice if you are going to stop the instance and start the instance so then your IP address will be changed so now I am going to click instance state start instance so earlier the IP address was different and uh, now the public IPv4 address is different I am going to do is terminate instance so here it is uh, still stopping the instance of Ubuntu instance state So once if it is uh, successfully stopped, you can stop or hibernate or terminate. So wait for until stopping. So later then you can able to terminate. If it is still running, it will be chargeable. For that, uh, what I am going to do is I am going to terminate the EC2 instances. Here I am going to click here and uh, instance state. Terminate. Now entire VBS volume is deleted. So this part, particular IPv4 also should be deleted. So this also should be terminated. So this is all about creating instances and connecting the EC2 instances. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.